Rockers. Janet is an amazing poet and artist. I mean, just so much fun. I just love her work. She's one of my most inspired and inspiring friends. And um, to have her here in the studio is such a blast. Um, let me hit the record button on our handy dandy. Oh yeah, it's going. It's going. Um, and uh, so Janet is here. Say hello, Janet. Well, hello. How are you? Can, can you guys hear her? If you can't hear her, give me a call. I'm at 773-442-4578. Give me a jingle and say, hey, we can't hear Janet. Um, it's the first, as far as I know, I don't know anybody else who's done any interviews yet here at WZRD, the, the resurrected wizard, since uh, we've been, we were down and out I'd for like, so long. Ouch. I'd like to be the first the first interviewee of the resurrected wizard. Right. I'm honored. <laughs> yeah. I really am. I'm totally yeah, honored. It's really no cool. idea. Right? Yeah, definitely. So, um... Janet is here. We're talking about the Poetry Saloon at noon. Mm. So what can you tell me about the Poetry Saloon at noon? Me? Well, um, a certain wonderful, adorable DJ asked me if I wanted to be a part of this, <laughs> and I was absolutely thrilled to. Um, if anybody is working downtown in Chicago, um, you can always take a break at lunchtime, you know, between noon and 1 on Wednesday, August 30th, at the Chicago Cultural Center, which is at 78 East Washington in the Randolph Cafe, which um, we're going to be there. We've That's got lots of seats, really nice some cool space. tables, very elegant. Lots of chairs. We've got a podium with the microphone, mm -hmm. and anybody for an open mic can come on up. I believe there are three uh, features. Yes, from, I I know yes. that I am one of them. Number I believe one. the first one, if he's there on time, would be GPA the poetic <laughs> unsung. I suspect that GPA may be the last so, feature. So no, I'm, who knows? No, I know he runs. And know how early I am. And I'm looking at the trains for coming in. I think I'm going to be here an hour and a half early. Yeah, yeah, so, that's great. <laughs> so I'll have lots of time to find so the place. So much better. So much better. <laughs> yeah, so, so we have GPA, and then we also have Elizabeth Moreno. Yay! Who is a brilliant poet herself, and she's a professor here at Northeastern Illinois University. Recently retired, but she's still teaching. She's over at the Center on Halstead um, teaching creative writing. Very cool. Yeah, that's very cool. And she's having... Um, her book, her book is coming out again too. Uh, uh, debris, poetry, and memoir. What a collection! Wow. She is. She's something. I'm gonna see if I can find some of her poetry so I can read it. I don't know as Liz necessarily got. I I sent her the message, but I'm not sure how often she checks her email. She's not like you, Janet. Janet's very plugged in. <laughs> well, I run a literary magazine of Scars Publications. Http colon slash slash scars dot tv. Two literary magazines. So I'm always checking for people sending submissions to me. You can always send to CCND Magazine. That was the one that found it. And actually, this June will be the 20 year anniversary issue of CCND Magazine. No way! It's Scars has been around years? for 20 years. It's yeah. awesome. And then a newer magazine, which used to be an offshoot of CCD, Down in the Dirt, is also available. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I get to edit them both. But you can uh, want to know any information about it, go to scars.tv and get info on that. And contact me through either of those addresses as well. Nice. And I think Elizabeth Marino, I think I've seen her at the uh, poetry open mic I run every other Wednesday at Gallery Cabaret, the Cafe Gallery. It it's, could very well be. And it's on Wednesday evenings, which I feel like... It's a busy day next Wednesday because it not only busy day. from noon till one are we doing that, but that evening I've got the you've got your gig, like. right? Yes. So if you're not downtown, if you live in Bucktown, for example, I mean it's right there in Bucktown, in the heart of Bucktown, the gallery. It's where it's 2020 North Oakley, and right? it's yeah, it's just off the corner of Western and Armitage. The Blue Line train is right there. There's tons of free parking. Jeff Helgeson is actually the feature. Oh, I love Jeff. And he's oh, like, he's such a brilliant writer. He's like, I'm rushing oh. over, and I'm gonna start my feature at 8:30. Oh, so he's everybody. so dramatic, and he has him. got this voice, the voice. Man. Great. And I was honored that he was able to actually pull in and do the intro for the short story part one of the show I did last night. That's October, right. That was cool. great. He did a really good job. He's so dashing. You dashing. know the way he carries himself? <laughs> He's just, he is. He's dashing. He's, and charming. He's got this. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, not to make Barbara jealous or anything. You know, I don't want to. <laughs> He is a great guy, though. He is a great guy. So, I'm so, thrilled. Yeah, yeah. So, he's going to be your feature that yeah. evening. So, yes. it's going to be a poetry kind of day. Poetry day. I'm going crazy with the poetry stuff. Nice. So, definitely, yeah. So, and if anybody's interested in that, it's every other Wednesday. Oh, I love giving off web addresses. Chaoticarts.org slash the cafe. You can th see things about the 2013 schedule. 
Um, if you ever wanted to contact uh, the Gallery Cabaret with a phone number, they could tell you what days we're running. We're usually right before the singer-songwriter event that happens on every other Wednesday there. So every other Wednesday every other is Wednesday. when you host. Yes, okay, okay, so, so the next one is this next Wednesday on January uh -huh. 30th, which is the evening after the Poetry Saloon at noon. Man! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. So you have some poetry to share with us. I mean, let's 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 dive right in and have a taste of of what this poetry is. What is this poetry? I am so interested in well, finding out what this poetry is that you're going to be doing. Now you've been doing something really innovative <laughs> with the table of el elements. It was the periodic table. I, I, I yeah, decided, periodic table. I don't know where I got this idea that I was just going to try to write a poem for every element in the periodic table. It's awesome. <laughs> Which means you know you reference Wikipedia a lot for things that you don't know. I mean, some of them, oh, it's oxygen. Well, you know what that is. Right. You know what that. <laughs> sure. um, but, uh, you know, as you get toward the um, elements toward the end of the periodic table, it goes up to 118. When you get up there, they're all synthetic. Some of them are like, well, there are only four atoms in existence. We don't know anything about this and can't even research it. Right. So, and so on those, I get to extrapolate and create a lot of things. But it's interesting because you can take what you know about something and turn it into something else when talking about the elements. So yeah, I decided I decide whenever I do a feature that I am going to read never before read element poems of mine. And so